Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can export your Unity three-dimensional environments to 360 videos and transform these uh, three-dimensional environments that you build on Unity are uh, all into a 360 video. There you can upload it to YouTube or visualize it in a headset, etc. etc. So let's begin. For start, I will actually delete this video. <clears throat> and I'll try to cut here, and then I'll try to delete this. Try to delete this video, and then I will go to Unity. And then, as you can see in my Unity, I have a very uh, simple scene. Uh, let's go to the scene. I have a very simple scene that I download from Unity Assets, so you can actually download it. I will probably leave the assets in the description of this video. And this is a, actually a, a free asset that you can download on uh, on Unity Store. And then what I want to do is I want to export this environment into a 360 environment so that people can actually uh, visualize it in uh, YouTube or uh, download it into a headset and uh, navigate it in, uh, in 360 uh, degrees. So, <clears throat> as you can see in the scene, I actually have a very simple scene here. I have two types of player. I have an XR player, which I will hide. I will not use it. I just have it here for um, sample purposes. But I also have a very simple player controller, as you can see here. I have a very simple controller. Uh, I call it player camera. And inside, I have a camera. This camera is a very simple camera. It doesn't have any... Uh, special thing it's just a camera and also i have a capsule that represents the player so you don't really have to um, <coughs> put any xr special xr player into your unity project to uh, build a 360 video you just need a capsule just try to make sure that the capsule contains a collider and then uh, we have a camera here and then we uh, put them together into a, this uh, element this is a parent element so Try to make sure at the beginning, uh, try to make sure the position your player is inside the 360 environment, this capsule thing, uh, which represents a player and a camera. <laughs> uh, make sure that it's inside the environment. At the same time, when you click the camera, try to uh, observe that the camera is tagged as a main camera, so then the software will recognize it. Uh, once we inject the the metadata of the 360 environment, it will be recognized as a main camera <laughs> once we record it. Got it? So then uh, at the same time, once we have these two things and I have my scene, you will have any, any type of scene. You can use this one, you can use another type of scene. Then I will actually download a, a package uh, to record. So if you go to uh, Unity here and package managers, uh, you open this window of package managers and then you go to Unity registry. Then if you browse for recorder, then you'll found uh, you'll find a Unity record. Now this recorder uh, is just a package so you should install it and this will allow us to record a 360 video so you will install it here once it's installed. Then we'll wait a little bit to load it. There you go. So once it's done, <clears throat> I'll suggest you to uh, open it. So then you go to Window General and here click Window General, and then you go to uh, Recorder, and then you open the Recorder window. So then here we'll have a window, as you can see. Uh, back to the scene and this is the game. This is the view of the player right on um, game and then uh, We'll have different type of uh, Movies and take in my case. I will just uh, delete this movie and I will Leave it by default. This is how it should come in my case. It, it has this other uh, Recording from previous but then I'll add a recorder and then I will add a movie. Okay Once I add a movie then I'll just check this on my FPS and then in game view I will change to uh, 360 view here 
And here uh, you can output many type of uh, proportional dimensions that you may have, may want it to have. Um, in my case, I will input the resolution here uh, 96 to 2048. I will use a high, it's kind of high resolution. And then I will click here where it says recording stereo. We don't need to record in stereo, uh, stereoscopic, and here you can include or exclude the audio if you want it. It's up to you guys. Then after that, uh, then we'll have this uh, setting. I will just record it in this format, and then here you should input your project name or your file name. So in this case, I will put uh, this is like a scary scene 360 environment and then i'll try to browse where i want to record there i want to record in this folder which i call 360 videos from unity select folder and take now now how to record it when you got to uh press play first in unity so you press play then we'll start the play and then after that we start our recording so we press play here start recording and then we'll let it record for around 30 seconds or even more it depends on how many photograms uh, you want to record the idea is that you cover all the space and the possibility to get all photograms or enough photograms where people can navigate into the 360 environment and then We'll, we'll wait. All right, so I will stop it here around <coughs> 2000 frames and then I will stop here my Unity as well. And then uh, you, if you want to <coughs> inject 360 metadata into this video, well, we have to browse. There's a Google tool to do that. Uh, so we have to browse uh, 360. Inject metadata uh, from Google. So we go to GitHub and then we actually need to download a utility. We'll try to check the versions here. In my case, uh, I'm recording this video right now, this 0.1 version, and then I will go to uh, here Win Windows. In this case, I'm using Windows today. Then I will get this too. Probably put it within the same folder. This tool, and then I will uh, unzip this. So, show more options here. I will unzip this too. Once I get the folder, uh, I have to double click here and open it. So once I open it, it will appear this uh, element so window window and we click on open so we open our file and then we inject the metadata so we open it here we open the scene that uh, we get into we want to transform now before doing that I want to show you how the video looks like you can see the video actually is a, it looks spread or unwrapped right that's why it's necessary to include this uh, metadata or 360 metadata so then we can navigate as we the player uh, is the camera so I'll close here and I'll back to what I was doing here we open it injector of metadata we open here the video that we have recorded already from unity and then we click on inject metadata and then we save it with a different name I just add here the injected and then I think it's done. So then <clears throat> you go here, we open file, then you will see that we can actually click with the mouse and navigate this space of 360. Okay. Uh, you can also include audio if you want uh, when you're recording. In my case, I include the audio. I will actually upload this 360 video into 
YouTube as well. All right, and here we go. So <clears throat> I think that that will be all for now. Uh, I hope this was useful. I hope you all have learned how to inject 360 metadata, how to record a video. You can record any of your, your 360 environments from Unity and transform it into a 360 video. Then you can upload it to a flat platform. You can share it and you can also load it into a headset. So that will be all for now. I hope this was useful and um, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel if this was useful. I do like our content and then see you next time.